I don't think my wife is Hitler. I love my wife very much. She's given up her career to work full-time for the environment. So, it was an error on your part. Yeah. It was cruel and not nice. It was, yeah. it was rotten, if it I was so. It was rotten. 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 Louis Nye was approaching 90 years old when he took on the role of Jeff Green's father in Curb Your Enthusiasm. I'm talking. I do. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull talk. myself together. I'm you trying have to, get, to get a hold of yeah. yourself. Surprise. <laughs> <laughs> it's Gordon Hathaway and all Hollywood is at my feet. <laughs> I came, I saw, and I conquered. Hi ho, Steve Arino. <laughs> oh. so, you, so you like it here in the land of sunshine, huh, Gordon? I like it. I'm so ripe, I'm ready to be picked. <laughs> he had been performing on stage, on the radio, and on television before his breakthrough role as a regular performer on The Steve Allen Show. Well, are you ready for tonight's uh, question about Calypso music? Hill and Gully Rider, Hill and Gully, day -o, day -o. come to day and I when you go home. Fine, Gordon, the question is... Now everybody sing, all day, all night, cut away. Gordon, the question... Hill and Gully, he'll load the banana boat all night long. He's got the banana, he's got the bananas, from day I want to go Gordon, 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 listen to me. What, what do you think of Calypso music? I hate it, Slim. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gordon. That's a frank... Well, uh, this may be a ridiculous question, sir, but how can people walk across the bridge if it's underwater? You're right. That is a ridiculous question. <laughs> well, nevertheless, don't be angry, sir, but how can the people walk across... Who needs them? Let those people stay home, I say. That's the trouble with the children of today. Too many parents out walking on bridges when they should be home applying a little discipline. <laughs> Great believer in discipline, I'll tell you that. Yeah. But, sir. Well, are we going to party? Are we going to party, sir? I'm sorry, sir, but isn't there some kind of a. Shut up! <laughs> It's much better to take a cab than drive your own car to it because they, they take you right in front of the door of an airport. Well, you're okay. <laughs> okay, folks, you can get out here. <laughs> Why do we get out here? We still have four blocks to go. Take us to the airport. Oh, no, no. I never take anybody to the airport. <laughs> As a character actor, he appeared on a wide variety of sitcoms and other TV shows. I can't stand goodbyes. <laughs> what? I can't bear to see people go away. That's why I don't want to take you to the airport. I hate it! I hate it. <laughs> but that's not the point. You've turned down Sonny Drysdale, the sweetheart of a dozen sororities, <laughs> king of countless campuses. Are you sure you want to pass up this chance for paradise? Yep. Have you thought it over carefully? Yep. And you're willing to give up instant ecstasy? Yep. Is that all you can say? Yep. Nope. There's one other thing. Or kneeling on my foot. In the 1960s and 70s, he would appear in a number of commercials as well as public service announcements. This vacuum cleaner usually sells for $250, but you can get yours free. When somebody offers you something for nothing, a bell should go off in your head. A deal that sounds too good to be true usually isn't. There's no debris in the area. Grass is not wet. Go hiking. You got on long pants and sturdy shoes. You're all dressed proper for the job. What's wrong? Out of gas. Louie, the tank's plumb full. Not the machine, me. For further information, write lawnmowers or phone toll-free the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. Louis would also continue to perform live throughout his entire career. There are uh, many, many important nights in show business, but I think the biggest night of all is the uh, night of the school pageant, when your child is appearing. So we take you backstage now to the school auditorium, 
where Mr. Sidney Senko is this year's volunteer director, and he's giving the children the last minute instructions before the curtain rises on American wildlife, flora and fauna. <laughs> A pet. <laughs> what is it? What is it, Oregon Angelo? You have to what? <laughs> no? All right, but let's make it snappy. Who else has to go? <laughs> the whole country? <laughs> well, we, you can't all go at once. You have to go in groups. Uh, le, hear me, hear me. Split up. We'll have to split you up into time zones. Those on the eastern seaboard will go first, then the central states, then mountain time. All right, are we ready? All right, here we go. We're the animals of the USA. And we welcome you today. I'm the leaping deer. I run in fear. I'm the happy seal. Do you care, John Peel? We're the sorry eagles in the air. I'm the foxy, foxy bear. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam. Step two, three. We guard you night and day. The animals of the U.S. All told, he would appear on television for five decades. So, when will these be ready? Let me read you from this text, uh, the yellow pages, uh, page 4,327, uh, where it says, uh, four day service. Uh, four day service. Uh, say it with me. Four, four day service. service. Uh, four day service. Uh, and we shall live according to the promises made in this book. Uh, Good evening, monks and monkeys. <laughs> Tonight we pay tribute to Friar Tuck, the only monk I know who took a vow of ugliness. <laughs> Let's face it, folks. Who else becomes celibate and gets thank you notes? <laughs> oh, I haven't seen you until over with this. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Green. This is Cheryl Hi. Larry's wife. This is Hi. Jeff's parents. Hi. Oh, nice to meet you. How do you do, Cheryl? Yes. How are you, Cheryl? Great. 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 Nice to see you. How are you doing? Pretty lady. Pretty lady. How's everything? Well. Don't touch me now, dear. I'm sorry. Because I'm insecure and full of self-doubts. Don't ever touch me like now, that. Now, Louie, you... Achy Kirby! <laughs> Louie, you should have all of the confidence in the world. <laughs> You have the clear, cool. Louis and I would pass away in 2005 at the age of 92, leaving behind a legacy of over half a century of comedy. Turn, grin, and the chin of impetuous you. 